All right, everybody. So Spider-Man 2 has been out for about three days now, and I just wanted to come in here. I just finished the game just a few hours ago. I just wanted to come on and give my thoughts immediately. Guys, one word or acronym. Game of the year. Game of the year. This game was phenomenal. This was peak. This was the pinnacle of not only a superhero game, but gaming in general when it comes to using technology to enhance and immersify the story that you're telling. Let's get right on into this. So this is a spoiler free review. So don't worry about seeing any footage that you don't want to see. This is spoiler free. I'm not even showing the introduction, even though the introduction is literally a pinch of what goes on in this game. But with all that being said, I have a breakdown, like a literal breakdown, combing through every single part of the story coming out this week. So that's going to be my spoiler review. This is my spoiler free review. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get right on into the story. The story, guys, is well tailored, well written, um, have some blips here and there with the voice acting, but overall voice acting is great as well. Yuri Laurenthal has to win a nominee, has to win an award or something. His ability to switch up his voice and to actually change the mood of Peter and really sell that symbiote emotion that happens when you're attached to the symbiote, the emotion, the anger, the dark side. He really, really dove deep. And I think he really took some pointers from Tobey Maguire, who I think has the best portrayal of when you're turning into Venom as Spider-Man. And it really just really, really made the this, this story or that half of the story more dynamic for his for his voice acting. And yeah, that, that's just, I just wanted to spotlight him as an actor. Oh, in general like amazing amazing job but when it starts with the story it opens up with a bang guys it opens up with a bang and when i say a bang i'm not selling i i wish i was short selling or like short or uh, like you know over exaggerating or whatever but i'm not over exaggerating it opens up with a bang it gives you that robust that hey you've already done this before you've already seen the action we don't have to ease you into anything right on into it they get you guys into the action really 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 quick it's a robust scene it's an interactive scene you learn a lot about the game in this scene in this in this mission in this first mission the prologue mission um you learn a lot about what's going on in the world you learn a lot a lot about where peter and miles are at in their lives uh again not too much spoiling but you know miles is in school and peter has a job now he is teaching and so now their lives are kind of like split into two on what each is ha each has to work through or work through in their everyday lives and so going on into that they get into the story and you get into how peter and mary jane are still together and how they're doing and how he's doing with um his aunt may's house who has passed in the last game um yeah this just they really set it up nice they set it up they set you in that scene real real nice and comfy they they don't give you any oh, oh uh Let's, let's teach you how to do everything. No, 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 no. Put you right in there and set you in nice and comfy. And once they do all of that, they introduce immediately. Again, like I said in the first part, a new villain. They introduce more of the transversal movements. Um, the graphics look insane. Um, they just like they're, they're showcasing all of this in just the beginning half. And then you get on into the story and Harry and all that good stuff. I just want to say this again, no, no spoilers for real. But if you just go back to my videos, I was right about Harry. That's all I have to say. I was right about Harry. I was, I was like nine for 10 with most of the stuff that I predicted in some of my videos. So we get on into what is probably the most immersive second act to a story that I have seen in a long time. And let me tell you guys something like, I played Final Fantasy 16 and that was very, very nice. All the way through, the story was great. But when I tell you that, when I remembered every, almost every single interaction when it came to this second act, it was truly, it was truly a blast. When we get into this second act, we have Peter and Miles and they're completely in the bulk of any, everything. They're completely in, settled in and they're trying to like work around their jobs and work around school and everything. But things are just going, not going quite their way. Like, you know, things are kind of hitting the fan. And, you know, Miles has to deal with his college essay. 
Peter is dealing with, you know, jobs and trying to pay for his mortgage and all that good stuff. And so we get into hitting the problems and trying to find solutions. And so some of these solutions end up kind of, you know, putting them into some worse solutions because they're not quite working together. You know, Miles is trying to kind of keep the city intact or whatever, but Peter has kind of got his head elsewhere. He kind of wants to have a bit more normal of a life and he's trying to just manage his normal life so that he can keep it and not have to really be Spider-Man as much. And Miles is just having a tough time living up to that. But in, in, in hindsight or in the midst of all of that, we get a really, really, really good performance again by even by Nadja Z or his his character performance. His voice acting is very great as well. Um, yeah, they they encounter some problems and Peter actually gets a job. He actually finds finds a job. And that's when things kind of hit the fan. And we get into the part where it gets to actual like Craven. I haven't even talked about Craven yet. So Craven's mission is to be on the hunt to find the greatest showdown of his of his life. He's just on the hunt to find the best top top beast to handle and to 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 see if he can take him on. And I'll have to say this, he definitely finds it. But before we get into all that, you know, this he's the set piece. He sets everything in motion. He pushes Miles and Peter. He's the reason Miles and Peter get pushed to the brink. Not really Venom. Venom kind of is the trade-off and the like performance like okay you were pushed now let's see what you're talking about you know what i'm saying craven pushed these guys and he kind of just kept blowing and just blowing stuff up and literally and meta um, and metaphorically he, he just kept just making everything a problem and they just couldn't catch a groove and and unfortunately again like i said it gets to the part where the second act is very dynamic because Yuri Laurenthal delivers a great performance when it comes to switching Peter. We all know how Peter acts when he gets the symbiote. That performance was great. It was great. It had this one scene, so you guys saw some of it in the trailer where he says, I'm the hero. There was more to it, and man, it's brutal. It's brutal, it's, it's heartbreaking. Uh, I will say that too, it pulls them heartstrings. The the way that they actually tell the story with the with the technology is actually pretty cool. We can get onto that later. But yeah, and the story kicks off, and then you get into the actual problem of this whole and the whole theme is that with great power also comes the the great understanding that you not all power is your your responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like not all power is great. And um, one person he just he didn't learn he didn't learn this lesson, and in the end. It got to him. Third act is probably one of the best acts I've seen in comic book media in a long time. Now, when it comes to gaming, hands down, best. One of the best. Guys, this third act was packed. And I was going to reference this. I don't know how anybody is saying that the runtime is too short. Yes, literally, it may be too short when it comes to the actual tangible runtime, but that's because it's packed. From start to finish, it's packed with action and immersive gameplay. This game is full of surprises. If you think you've seen anything on the internet, you haven't seen it. God damn thing, man. This game has some, it's kept surprising. Every time I say, oh, Insomniac, really? You just did that? Okay, cool. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay, cool. Wait, wait, wait there's more? Wait, you Did you just, you just did that? Wait a second. Huh? Like that was the reactions that I was getting when I was coming to this third, second and third act. Even in, in the beginning, they were just surprising us, surprising us, even in the side missions. I recommend you guys do some of these side missions, please. When I say immersive, I mean immersive, guys. This thing does stuff with the controller that I have never seen. When it comes to the hat fix and, the, and to the technology that they use with this game, it is top notch and best I've ever seen, guys. And with all of that being said, guys, I just wanted to say that this game is a solid 9.5 out of 10. Let's just, I'm just gonna give it that. Like, of course it has its errors and we're gonna get into that. Just, just a quick tidbit of errors. It has its glitches. We're, we're, we're gonna sit it right now. It has its bugs. It has its bugs. It has its bugs. It's like a traffic jam bug. There's a uh, visible soup bug. There's a whole bunch of bugs. There's a, uh, it's actually like a, a part where you have to actually restart the story sometimes. You don't like launch your ultimate or if you're in a tutor tutorial, it doesn't launch like the next section. It, it got it got some annoying parts in it, but everything was overshadowed by the gameplay and everything else that they put into it. And so I just feel like that 
is one of the biggest reasons this is a 9.5 out of 10. So if you like my rating or if you think the rating is different or if you want to comment your own rating or you comment your thoughts on the game, let me know your thoughts on the game. Let me know what you think. Don't spoil anything in the comments yet. We're going to do a spoiler review next or this week. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're in the week. Get on some more Spider-Man 2 content. Peace.